Okay, so as many of you know, it is Amazon Prime Day, 12th and 13th of July, so this is coming to you on the 13th of July. These are my two parcels that arrived, I've got one more coming in post. Uh, that will probably come tomorrow or Friday, I believe, so I'm not going to be able to do that in time. But I thought if I just quickly go ahead and do a uh, unboxing of what I did buy, uh, just to give you a rundown as to why I bought it, and check out on the channel tonight, you may actually get a chance to buy it before the sales end by midnight, so uh, let's just go, go ahead and start doing it. Is this box, which I am replacing my one of my Echo Dots with a fifth gen Echo Dot. Uh, I will be doing possibly a video later on uh, that might also come today, comparing it to the second gen Echo Dot uh, that I will be sending back. Just let you know for this one, the moment it's twenty pound in the UK. Um, if you return an old Echo Dot in good nick, which mine is. Uh, you will actually get 25% uh, off this device retrospectively, and they will give you a £5 Amazon voucher. Effectively, making this £10 if all is good. So that's great. So I'm getting that. Sorry about the wind. Should be the wind. So that's one thing. The other is in here, which I think this is quite a good deal. Some of you will not like this purchase at all. Uh, just bring that a little bit closer, just for a look. So it is a Huawei Wi-Fi AX dual core Wi-Fi 6 Plus computer. Uh, this, I purchased it purely because I kept my eye on a lot of Wi-Fi 6 routers at the moment, or Wi-Fi 802.11 AX routers at the moment. And generally, they're all still in the 100 pound mark. Now, so it's interesting, but this right now, is the plan is, let me put this up some specs here, uh, the plan is that if this is decent, um, I'm going to review it later on today to do some benchmarking. If this ends up being what I want, I'm going to buy another one and then mesh them because these do mesh. Uh, this was £25 on Amazon then. So £25 for Wi-Fi 6, yes it's Huawei, yes it's a stigma on it. However, at the end of the day, if Google's not got my information, China's got my information probably. So it's all good, alright? So it's up to you, I'm not recommending it. I'm just going to review it, and then for £25 you can't really go wrong, so uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and unbox that shortly. Um, but yeah, so that's what I've purchased, and then uh, we'll uh, carry on with why later. Okay, so let's crack on with the unboxing of this then. So this is the dual core model. Like I said, it's £25. Yeah, loads of videos online of this ain't already, but just bring it to you from Factor Set Prime Day. So you've got the router itself and these aerials lift up. There is no twist in them, it's literally up or down. And they, that's as far back as they go as well. So uh, this is the LED indicator to show what the uh, is currently doing, is working or not. That's the WPS button, which I will not be using. Power barrel. These are uh, supposedly, even though it says WAN, um, it's actually uh, configurable which port you want as WAN. These are all gigabit. Okay. And then you've got your reset hole and then your power button, which is a probably more of a reset button itself because it's, it's not a clicky, it's a just press. So I'll see that. That's that. Cool. Now what else is in the package? Uh, probably a one meter ethernet. And a power adapter. So that's a 12 volt one amp, 12 volt. Fair enough. And a warranty card. Anything else? Quick start guide. Yeah, you got the idea. So that's basically a nice simple unboxing. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, just get this hooked up and I'll possibly show you the, the IF. Yeah. Okay, it's a little bit of an unorthodox place to put it, but I'm just going to use it as a repeater initially, just to test some of the 5G hotspot from my phone. So we're just going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to go ahead and get the red light. Oh, 
probably because it's not being configured, we're just going to keep getting that. And then I'm going to switch over to screen capture and then use the AI Life app, which is what I recommend to set this up. Okay, so for the life of me, I couldn't get the AI app working correctly. Uh, you connect to the hotspot just given out by uh, the router straight away. It's called Huawei AX whatever. Um, doesn't require a password at all. You just connect it. And then the AI app failed to connect. As you can see here, it just kept thinking, thinking, thinking. So it saw it, but it just didn't connect. So I resorted to having to use the web browser version. Okay, as you can see here, you've got the Huawei splash page that comes up when you initially connect via Wi-Fi. Uh, obviously saying no in access because I'm trying to use it as a hotspot. Um, but yeah, it uh, is seen to find the SSIDs available in my area and I was able to connect to it no problem at all. So it eventually got working this way instead. Okay, so what i got here now is my network attached storage. That's plugged directly into the router, uh, both a gigabit LAN. So what we're going to do is run a couple of speed tests, um, pulling files from the NAS because my 5G connection is only currently pulling 100 meg to the phone, so it's not a very good test. Um, but yeah, we're actually going to be doing some file transfer over Wi-Fi 6 and see um, see how they come along. Okay, so I apologise for the image quality. My laptop's playing up still, and there's going to be some video on that. This has been ongoing for a while now. Um, but you can see here that we got 802.11ax. The uh, Huawei router is the only one that uh, can output 802.11ax in my house at the moment, other than the phone I'm using right now. I can guarantee you um, it is the hotspot is off on my phone, so that's fine. We're currently connected around 650 megabits per second, allegedly. This is my NAS that's hardwired into the router directly uh, over gigabit. And what we're going to do is just do a quick speed test from the internal network. And then we're just going to see how this pans out. So we're doing 50, 53, 60 meg. Fair enough. That's not bad, considering that, um, like I said, it's at the top of the stairs. This has actually jumped up to 865 now. But we're doing around 50 meg down. We're going to run this test again in a second, but we'll be right next to the router just so we can take uh, distance out of the equation. But yeah, we're looking at around 50, 60 meg. My uh, NAS, just for reference, can easily do uh, 100 meg um, file transfers, so, so we're a bit lost there. Okay, we'll skip to the next video where we'll be a lot closer. Okay, because my NAS has been in storage a while, some troubleshooting was required. So the NAS is connected via an Ethernet, the grey cable, into here. I'm still moving in, so just keep that in mind. But it is connected, just as proof. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do the test now from here. So that'll be jump cut. Okay, once again, we're looking at the uh, speed down here is recognised as 1 gigabit. Um, and we're still connected to 802.11ax here and then we're just going to go ahead and connect uh, sorry, copy over the file so we're hoping for a better speed this time so here we go, we're getting the full 100 meg which is what I expect the limitation here now is probably going to be the gigabit ethernet not the Wi-Fi because um, that will top at naturally 104 so we're now easily getting that. And then the dip to the, the NAS caching the file in advance because it is on a, this file is particularly on the old traditional spinning platter hard drive. So yeah, so I think that's pretty damn good to be honest. Okay then, and then for the final test, we're now outside. Just quickly show you that we're outside. The router is behind that wall there. So, uh, what we're looking at is holding around, it's jumping down to 400 odd meg, megabits per second, um, and jump it back up to gigabit. So I'm just going to quickly grab that file again. At no point have I let the file complete, it just means it gets cached, so this is purely a good test. So, let's have a look. Okay, so we're only getting 20 meg this time. So as you can see, the number here has dropped down considerably all of a sudden from a gigab gigabit, 200 meg, where it is going through a brick wall now. But we're still getting 20 meg. Once again, I know this isn't the most scientific test, but uh, it's real world. It's a relatively modern house, and I mean relatively as in the last 10 years. 
But yeah, we're averaging 20 meg. That's megabytes, by the way, sorry. So if you look at the file transfer, it's 20 megabytes per second. So if you had a 200 megabit router or fiber into your home, you're gonna get your full 200 megabits into your house in your garden, just for an example. So there we go. I think that uh, nicely concludes that uh, the router is actually fairly decent, especially for 25 quid. Um, it would be interesting to see if other devices uh, are able to pull more. So for example, my laptop uh, seems to be limited. It says AX200. Um, so I'll have to look at that card and see what the maximum capabilities are of the root of that um, network card. But um, no, I think that's impressive. So you've got gigabit speeds over Wi-Fi as long as you're close enough. Um, and uh, that suits it. The question is, do I buy another one? Don't know. I'll put the link in the description below for the Amazon listing. It's currently £25 as of today. I don't know if it ends at midnight, but it is part of Prime Day sales. So, um, yeah, I'll just chop this video together really quickly, put it up. Hopefully some of you will get a bargain. Thank you for watching.